Good morning, everyone. It's Cassie. I hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome back to the Universe Sim. There was a real risk of my game crashing just then. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, often the game crashes during load screens. It is just something that has existed in this game from the beginning of time. Uh, hopefully it's something we'll get ironed out, but anyway, hello and welcome. I hope you're having a great day. I, I first wanted to say thank you. It's been kind of a crazy week for my channel. Ever since I put out my first 1.0 video, I've gained like 70 subscribers and I've gotten just a load of love and a load of positive comments. So if you're here for the first time, hi and thank you. And um, I hope you enjoy watching me play video games on the internet uh, for, for funsies. So where we last left off, we had just researched speleology and we were putting down our... Um, expedition camp. We're 40% of the way into that. We also are continuing our research and we're building the re relevant buildings. I'm starting to kind of try to set up zones in my game such that we will have an industrial zone where we'll put up our refineries and our factories. Um, we've already got a couple of mines set up and we're kind of researching for uh, starting to develop our more refined materials so that we can progress through the game. We're maybe two thirds of the way through the Stone Age, making our way gradually, a little more than halfway, making our way toward the medieval age or the Tudor era, as we also call it. And that is where we left off. We have a couple schools. We have one school. We have a hospital. And we have a fire. A big fire. Where are these coming from? This is... Normally I would let the fire put itself out. There's a cloud looming right overhead, but also this is on top of buildings and resources and it's making me a little nervous, so I'm going to put it out. It was dangerously close to a residential building. Last game we had just a crazy amount of... What is this? This is our expedition camp. Yes, it is. I forgot what I was going to say. A crazy amount of. That's where I left off. Oh. A crazy amount of red-hooded figures uh, who came through, built a barn, built a shuttle, and then left. So that was pretty interesting. It was my first time seeing that cutscene in my own game. I have seen it on some of my friends' streams. But I don't know what they are up to yet. Stuck in Borstal would like to trade. Let's take a look at what they want. They would like 16 stone. No, they want 16 bricks and they want to give us 67 food. That's a pretty good amount of food. How many bricks do we have? 24. I don't really want to give them my bricks. Hangling is one of my specialties. I always make people an offer they can't refuse. I have a ton of stone, so if they want stone, I'll give them a pretty liberal amount. And then I will take some food from you, thank you. How much can I get away with? Oh, way more than 50. Can I take all of your food? Yes, and with room for more. How many planks can I add to this? Could five. I'm cool with it. Okay, I also see we have some upgrades. This guy down here is a pretty good indicator of that. Oh, our engineering huts. I'm going to... What do we need to upgrade an engineering hut? Lots of planks. More planks than we have. 
more bricks than we have and iron more iron than we have if we if we want to upgrade all of them i should say i have enough to upgrade a couple i don't have enough to upgrade all of them at once um so you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and queue up all of them and then we'll sit on it We won't have to upgrade anything else for a little bit. So I can spare those resources and have time to generate more. If I sound more energetic, that is for a few reasons. I am super caffeinated. I think I had like four cups of coffee today. It is the middle of the day, where I normally am recording at about 6 a.m. And she ate a protein bar. So I've got that little bit of sugar, that little bit of protein. Um, I'm like, I'm like that scene where Andy Dwyer in Parks and Rec learns that food converts to energy. And I'm like, you know, I'm running on protein bar energy right now. So... is incoming. It could be a story UFO, but it is more likely just a regular run-of-the-mill UFO who's here to steal our resources. So I'm going to give him a little zap. It takes two zaps to take down a UFO. Oh, and I have a bunch of mystical boxes to open. So once this UFO dissipates, we'll cart this new mystical box over to our epicenter and we'll open up the ones that are already there because they should be finished. Nope, nope, too far, too fast go. Okay, let's see which ones are done. The surface of the box is inscribed with mysterious markings. That's a good one. That's our blueprint piece. The box glows with a green aura of vitality. That sounds great, too. That's probably um, some healing for our nearby buildings and nuggets. Knowledge overwhelms a mystical object. I don't know what that is. I've never read that before. So we're going to open this up, because it doesn't sound negative. Okay. Oh, 50 discovery points. That's nice. Uh, 30 chemicals and part of a mysterious blueprint. What does this one say? The surface of the box is inscribed with mysterious markings. Your nuggets energy drains as they approach the box. That's bad. And an acrid fume fills the air around you. Acrid fume could be gas... Um, but your nuggets energy drains I do not like, so I'm going to scrap this one. I don't want to deal with the negative effects today. Oh, and you can hear my achievements, but you can't see them. The first one was for taking down five UFOs. This one was for scrapping a box. Let's see. The surface of the box is inscribed with mysterious markings. The box is warm to your nugget's touch. That could be f f fuel? I can't think of anything else it would be. Your nuggets smell an odd over odor coming from the box. Odd odor could be gas or oil or fuel. I'm going to open it. It's a little risky, but I'm going to go for it. What happened? Oh, it exploded. Okay. Died peacefully due to an exploding space box. I don't think that would be very peaceful. Also, are we going with space box? Um, the label on the box is still says mystical. 
but all of the other information says space box. The tutorial said space box even, so we lost a bunch of nuggets. When the, when the box exploded, we gained three nuggets though. Oh, and we're also missing a vote. Looks like we're gonna get materials cost reduction. Oh, I don't want that. Overindulgence is the core of society. Let's see what they vote. Really, I want medical aid. Yeah. Although someone recently tested it and it seems like there's not much detriment to materials cost reduction. Like in theory, buildings will degrade faster, um, but we haven't really noticed any of that on the, like outwardly. Are they happy enough? Yeah, we'll skip celebrating this time. Okay. We can also upgrade our hospital. How are we doing on materials for upgrading our engineering huts? Looks like we're done. We'll upgrade our hospital. We only have the one, so it's not a big deal. Heard a noise. Oh, it's thunder. Okay. I'm really suspicious of every little noise now. Okay, so now that we have ecology, we should have. What's new in here? Sleepy Springs, are you new? I guess so. Oh yes, medium-sized park. That's Sleepy Springs. I don't think we are missing any buildings, so we'll go ahead and do glass blowing and oil jack. Uh, oil jack is what it sounds like. We'll be able to build oil jacks on our land and start uh, gathering oil. Glass blowing allows us to unlock glass, or allows us to place glass factories, and glass is just another refined material for building. We use a lot of glass as things get upgraded. I also have a bunch of discovery points that I can spend thanks to that one mystical box. Bless you, mystical box. Creator point generation is is good right now, going pretty quickly. Nuggets are spreading themselves out pretty well. I didn't place any parks because my nuggets are very happy. Uh, the The appeal to parks is that they increase your nugget happiness. Wolves are coming. Okay. I'm not gonna let the wolves get to my nuggets. Oh, and we're hitting a point now that not everyone believes in us. We have in total 138 nuggets and we have 139 believers. This includes kids. So realistically, I should have 147 believers where I have 139. It's not terrible. There are things I can do to influence it. Using any creator power influences uh, your believer rate. And I actually want to put more trees down anyway, so. There we go. Gained a couple new believers just from that. Our hospital upgrade has completed.
you can see it's a little more structurally sound. There's a little more coverage to it. I like watching the building skins change over time. That's quite a sturdy population you got going over there. Thanks. I also want to test something out. I learned a tip from a friend that I don't, I'm doing this the hard way by connecting pink and blue nuggets. All I have to do is double click on, yes, it works. That's so cool. Um, so as long as there is a match for your, for the nugget you're clicking, when you double click a nugget, that nugget will automatically be paired with someone. And I don't have to track down both sides of this rainbow. I love this. This is a game changer. Thanks, Strange Brew. Oops, I did miss. I missed on the double click, but there was a blue nugget right nearby that I could connect. I'm also going to make a couple same-sex pairs just for fun. I like the rainbow that comes from same-sex pairings. I believe the game will not make same-sex couples using the double click feature just because that's not necessarily the intended use of it. But since you can make gay couples, I'm going to make some gay couples. There we go. I will look at this beautiful rainbow all day. Oh look, there are little tooltips now here that tell me that if I press F3, it'll open my building menu. I love it. Tooltips all day. Tooltips on everything, please and thank you. I don't recall ever seeing those before. Fantastic. How many more unmarried nuggets? 16? That's not so bad. Eh. I am double clicking you, but you're moving too fast. Okay. Oh, a blizzard is incoming, so we kind of want to send everyone home. Blizzards are actually super cute. If your nuggets get trapped outdoors and they don't listen to your alarm and go home, they will become little blocks of ice and they will have to thaw at a later date. This is unusual weather for the spring. Okay, are you gonna make it home? I haven't heard anyone become an ice cube yet. There are still plenty of people out. Oh, there's one I just heard. Where is it? There's a good one. So after the blizzard passes and the weather warms up, these nuggets will thaw and they'll continue to go about their day. It's interesting that none of the wildlife Yeah, that was a tough time, huh? Well, nugget friend.
Okay, let's build an oil jack. We also, I just noticed we also have something else we can build. This is a good place for oil jack. Oh, that's an even better place for an oil jack. So, this is where you find the stuff that suffocates the planet. Oh, our glass factory is already researched. That was quick. So we put our stone and wood refineries over here. So I'm going to put my glass factory over here too. We'll kind of build like a little industrial space. I want to put it further eventually from the residences. I'm going to extend it out to the left. I'm gesturing and you can't see it. Um, I'll put it over here. There we go. So we'll With the completion of your first factory, I look forward to seeing nuggets become cogs in an eternal machine. An so exile priest is making ludicrous claims of how much better their village is. Give them the boot before they steal your subject. Where? Would you mind giving those poor creatures some privacy, creator? They're I... clearly trying to reorganize their furniture. I wasn't trying to snoop. I am looking for that exile priest. It was an exile priest that I thought we were looking for in the last playthrough when we came across the red hooded figures. Normally they have little red beams over them. The universal signal for angry person, of course. I'm not actually seeing anyone. That doesn't mean there isn't one. It could be that I am just glossing right over it. Okay, our Minister of Water is still doing the most. How are we doing on reservoirs? Are we covered? Not really. Reservoirs previously did not have an area of effect and now they do so I want to make sure that all of the buildings that need an area oops no Cassie silly girl I want to make sure that every building that needs water can have water wait this is This is going to be a hard shoehorn, isn't it? I'm also going to leave my minister to do a lot of that work for me because the minister for water is a hard I hope worker. you've been working on your beach body. You're not going to spend another summer just lazing around, are you? Beach body. Come on. I'm a gamer. Oh, there's our little angry friend. May I borrow you for a minute? Totally deserved. Thank you. I hate Cree. Oh, there's another one. I would like to borrow you as well, please. Oh, that's not... That's not who I was going for. Where are you? There you are. Thank you. Where's my temple? There's my temple. In you go. So I just sacrificed that nugget. Um, it helped me gain 10 creator points. If you need creator points in a pinch, sacrifices are a good way to go about it. If you're not playing Benevolent, um, I with 
With the priests, I don't particularly care about benevolent. With my own nuggets, of course I do. Okay, the surface of the box is inscribed with mysterious markings. The weight of liquid rock slashes around inside. Sloshes, not slashes. And your nuggets mouths water as they approach. The first is blueprint piece. The third is food. The second is probably cement. Perfect. 30 cement, 50 food, and a blueprint piece. Have we unlocked any of the buildings, the legendary buildings? Doesn't look like it. Not yet. Oh, very quick on the Nuggle Tesla quest. We just finished research researching electricity, which means that now we have to help Nuggle Tesla with his quandary. We have to put down a battery, charge the battery, Oh, I should read this to you, huh? Dear Creator, I question my own sanity in doing so, but I must ask you one favor, which involves the technology that will power the ideas of the coming centuries. I am working on a device that is capable of storing electricity, but the components required to complete it have proven troublesome to find. Only three more are needed, and I must request your aid in locating them. They naturally attract lightning, so keep an eye open for plumes of smoke. Coincidentally, one, once the device is completed, lightning will also be required to power it up this battery then like I said charge that battery um, find the materials for it I want to batteries don't have a radius they kind of power everything from a distance so I want to put some of my batteries together and I'm gonna put them over here I'll also need to build an engineering hut out here I now have to find, I'm gonna slow down time, three parts for the battery, and they should have plumes of smoke, but from what I've seen lately, there's one. Oh, and there's another, cool. Uh, it's been buggy, so not everyone is seeing the plumes of smoke. So I just need to find three battery parts. I'm telling you this, but also so is the game. Did I miss? I missed. Where might the third one be? They tend not to be very far from your civilization, so I'm kind of... Uh, there it is. Perfect. And now we just need to give this a little jolt. Great. So we finished the Nuggla Tesla quest. Tesla's quandary. And wow, we've actually gotten a lot done today. Uh, it has been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to be winding down soon, but you know, all in all, I think this was a pretty good playthrough. Nothing new in this particular session. The exile priests are not new. Nuggle Tesla, not new. Um, we haven't unlocked any new buildings. Everything is as, as it's always been. Um, what this means, however, is that a lot of our buildings are going to start taking electricity, so we want to make sure that we have enough batteries and enough power plants or whatever kind of power we, we settle on. Um, we want to make sure that we have enough of them, so enough kinetic generators or enough windmills. Um, or if we go with power plants, we, we will need fewer of them because it is the most reliable form of energy but it's also the most destructive to the environment. But that'll be something we talk about next time. So what I want to know from you is what kind of power would you like me to go with? Um, I have seen all of them. I know what's reliable. I know what's toxic uh, to the environment, but I want to hear from you as to what you would do or what you want to see if you don't know what you would do. Um, other than that, yeah, I think pretty good today. 
I wish I could say I have a question for you. I love having questions for you. I love hearing your answers. I got a lot of good answers to the what's your favorite word question. Um, axolotl came up. Cool morbidity came up. I mentioned proselytize for mine. Oh, we've got three infected nuggets all of a sudden. Kind of want to take care of that. Is it you? Yes. So, I wish I had a question for you this time, but I am so wound up that I can't think of any. Uh, I wanted to say thank you. As I mentioned, it's been a weird time for my channel. I, I've shot up like 70 subscribers just since I posted my first 1.0 video, and um, I'm just grateful that everyone wants to ha hang out with me and watch me play games, um, this game specifically. I do play a couple of other games. Feel free to ignore those videos if you don't care about that. Um, I am just grateful that you're here. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for being awesome and supportive. Thank you for your good feedback. Thank you for your awesome suggestions if you're a longtime player of this game. I could not foresee the, the response that I've had to this, and I am over the moon. Um, so you're all amazing, and I hope you have amazing days, and I will talk to you very soon.